Adobe's first quarter results out moments ago. Stock is down, let's see, about 9.5% right now in overtime. And joining us now in an exclusive interview is Adobe CEO Shantanu Narayan. Shantanu, good to see you. Beat on the top and bottom line for the quarter you're reporting. It, with the guide, though, uh, the range that you're giving, the top end, $530 billion is right about what the street was expecting. And then on the digital media net new annualized recurring revenue guide for Q2, the street it looks like was looking for 461-ish million. And you got into 440. So, what's your take on not just the quarter, but how things look from here? Well, John, uh, first to your point, let me start about Q1. And again, record quarter, tremendous profitability as it relates uh, to how the company continues to perform. And I'd like to highlight a few numbers: RPO. Uh, you know, which is uh, clearly a strength of the underlying business that grew 16 percent. So uh, the fundamental business was very strong uh, as it related to Q1 performance. When we look at the product delivery and everything that we've delivered as it relates to AI, whether it's in Creative Cloud, whether it's in Adobe Express, uh, certainly things that we're doing on the enterprise with respect to Gen Studio, as well as AI Assistant that's both available right now in Reader, as well as in Acrobat, I think the company has done a phenomenal job of embracing uh, what's happening with generative AI and making sure that we invest both in our models as well as we ensure that the interfaces that people use, whether it's Reader, Creative Cloud, or uh, you know, certainly Acrobat, that we continue to make sure that we're delivering great innovation for the customers. I think when you unpack the results, a couple of things that I would highlight. The first thing I would highlight is the usage of Firefly and AI generation within our applications, over six and a half billion. So people really appreciate both the responsible manner in which we've created Firefly and they're using it. So the mm. adoption of Firefly, whether that's in Photoshop or in Illustrator, is really pretty good. When you unpack ARR specifically as it relates to your question, the thing to remember is that when you normalize it for some pricing actions that we took, uh, both in Acrobat as well as in Creative Cloud last year, uh, we actually had record Q1 commercial net ads in terms of subscriptions, as well as the Creative ARR, which is what people are focused on, that grew 20%. So, you know, when I look at it, and I look at it from the perspective of the innovation that we've delivered, when we look at it from the results uh, that we've accomplished, the enterprise traction that we're seeing as it relates to Gen Studio, as well as the forward looking, uh, I'm really pleased. Yeah, that's interesting, especially I was going to ask you about those Firefly generations. It looks like it's solidly $2 billion just since you reported last quarter. Now, g give me some context here. On, on the broader picture of customers. We've seen multiple reports from retailers, even discounters that have been doing well, where guidance is coming in lighter than expected from them. So what's the impact then on digital experience uh, and spend and even on creative spend when retailer margins might be under pressure? Are they leaning in to get uh, a share of the pie or are they easing up on their spending growth at least because the revenue opportunity might not be as big? Well, you know, John, we are going to have Summit, and I hope to see you there in a few weeks. And we're going to give uh, a lot more insight into the uh, innovation that we're unveiling. But I think big picture, people really trying to do campaigns, and they want to understand how generative AI can be used to drive more personalization at scale as well as accelerate the campaigns. But they are also looking to understand the efficiency of their marketing spend. And so, you know, our marketing business had a very strong quarter, you know, tremendous, as I said, RPO and record revenues, again, in digital marketing. And so I think the emphasis on delivering appropriate personalized content to engage with customers, uh, that urgency is only increasing and not decreasing. And whether you're a retailer, whether you're a financial services, whether you're a pharma company that's going direct, uh, I think everybody is looking to see how they can engage directly online with customers. Shantanu, it's Morgan. Um, with the termination of the Figma, Figma acquisition in December, investors have been looking for updates on capital return, game plan for, for future M&A strategy. I realize you just announced a $25 billion stock repurchase program uh, this afternoon, too. How much does that speak to that strategy now that that acquisition isn't happening? I think it's a great question, Morgan, and I think it just reflects that Adobe is one of these unique places where we can not only invest in our future, we're investing in these fundamental Firefly models. Uh, you know, we're clearly the leader and pioneer in what's happening with digital experience. 
But given the cash flow and the profitability that we will continue to return, uh, you know, excess capital to shareholders. When you think about it, uh, we've returned, I think, something like 26 billion over the last decade, and we've announced that we're going to be uh, returning another 25 billion over the last over the next four years. So clearly, uh, we are able to straddle both investing in the future and making sure that we focus on product while continuing to return excess capital to shareholders.